Hey YouTubers, I've had some questions about how I sharpen a drill bit and I used to do it by hand, by eye on the grinder and I had a little gauge that I put it in, I got it over there but I tell you my eyes have gone to where even with these uh, optivisors I cannot see the, the uh, bit anymore. So I've got this thing out, I had to sharpen some drill bits for work. I did a a trade, I'd sharpen a bunch of drill bits and then I got a bunch of steel. Well I got the drill bit sharpened for work and uh, so I dumped out a bunch of my smaller drill bits and I'm sharpening them. This is the holder. Let me zoom in. The drill bit goes there in the center and when you tighten this down it keeps it centered in here so the center line of the drill bit doesn't matter if it's a big one or a little one is the center line on this. So then this thing's adjustable it goes up and down and that uh, sets the relief on the drill bit against this uh, little cup grinder. You're grinding right here on this edge here and then you can turn this to get the angle you want. Well I had a hard time figuring out where how to line up the drill bit when you put it in here so that you weren't grinding the wrong, completely wrong angle. And there's a line right here, that line right there. I line this top cutting edge up with that just by eye and there's a, a roll pin here that you slide the front of this up against and there's a notch here for this when you got it this way then you flip it over and it'll push it up against that roll pin again and that gets keeps you the same distance from that cutting wheel okay which you got a knob down here that you can screw in and that runs that motor back and forth so you set your drill bit in the frame there and I come in here turn the motor on and come in until it touches the drill bit then you flip it over bring it in a little bit more Now normally I don't shut it off, I just keep right on, I keep right on changing drill bits. But I shut it off so I can talk to you. What I do is I look and I make sure that chisel point runs across the drill bit and not at an angle from one cutting edge to the other. And then I check to make sure I've ground clear up to the cutting edge on both sides using my optivisor to see it and make sure most of the relief has been ground. I don't have to grind the whole thing. If I don't touch part of it, it's because it's already way back and it's not going to be a problem. And no sense in grinding more off the, the cutting edge than you need to. Then you just loosen it up, take it out, put, put it in my pan of uh, done bits. Let me see if I, I don't see any more real... There's a long one, I think. Yeah, I can even do these real long bits because you just stick it in there and let it stick out the back side. And it, I mean, it can stick out as far as it needs to. And then line it. Oh man, that one's been broke. That and there's, that and there is shot. We'll go with this one. And I try to get them about the same length so I don't have to screw that motor in and out so much but I'll put it in there, make sure I've got clearance.
sometimes there will be a little bridge on that cutting edge and I think you might have saw me take my thumbnail and scratch that off on both sides so I can have a better look right at that cutting edge and it looks good so that one's done. It doesn't take long to do unless you've got a pile of bits like that my back starting to get sore so I thought I'd do a video real quick and uh, maybe take a break for a while one more this thing for quite a while. I bought it at a garage sale for five dollars. And it works great now that I've figured it out. And every now and then after I've ground a whole bunch of bits I'll take them over to my drill press and I have a piece of half inch plate on there and I'll just drill a hole. I don't drill clear, clear through, I just drill far enough to know that yes that is working. So there's my uh, SRD drill pointer. It says 1012 Greeley Avenue, Union, New Jersey, and it's uh, 07083 is the zip code. And it's a, I don't know if this is the, uh, the model might be DG76M, then there's an 077. That could be a serial number. There's a 201 dash. 688-7910. That might be the model number. I don't know. Then there's a patent number. The patent number is 3,553,898. Some of you guys like to look that kind of stuff up. Okay, let's try one more thing. Here you can see how I've lined this cutting edge up with that line and this is a pretty large bit. It might be half to nine sixteenths or somewhere in between. Let's see how she works on this one. I haven't done any great big ones on it yet. Okay, okay we'll see if I can do that without keep getting my big arm in the way.
Okay, I think you can see how that one is grinding. This bit is ground the cutting edge and back about to where you, my finger's blocking it. The rest of this bit hasn't been ground. And now this side here, it's been ground all except for right in here. The whole bit on this side has been ground. So that one was really a lopsided. And I'm going to grind it down real nice. But I have to be careful that I don't hit the other side of this wheel because that bit is so large. So I'm being real careful going in that I don't go too far. looking really good now. Well, uh, back here it's not. See how nice a job it did on this drill bit, but I don't think I'd want to do anything any larger than this. Now I'm I'm just going to estimate that's about nine sixteenths. See if it says on it. No. Let me get some calipers. Yes, I was right. That was right on nine sixteenths. I was looking for a 916 bit the other day. Thanks for watching again.